what's up everybody welcome to the my rc life youtube channel where we do all things rc and a little bit of everything in between let's go all right everybody well here we are in the shop after the crash of the two planes today i'm going to attempt to get the trojan t28 the warbird back together i guess first thing we got is the wing what we need to do is i guess pop it apart the servo horn there we go pull this tape up there is some specific CA glue that people use to put their stuff back together with but you want to make sure you don't get glue that actually will melt this foam because some glues will melt this foam and then you're in a whole nother kind of trouble. I like to use this shoe goo here it works wonderful in, in my uh, opinion. I guess I'm going to go about this is try to spread the crack Fill it and then spread the other crack and then fill it and then hold it together. Okay, we got some in on the bottom, on the top. Time to switch to the bottom now. I like to hold this right flat and then squeeze it so I know it goes down in between the crack. If you're using hot melt glue, probably put the the point of the glue gun right down in there and pull the old trigger, you know. I'm going to try to push this together like so. If you are indeed having trouble holding these two halves together, you can put a piece of tape over here and then over here or something, pulling it together. So I'm going to give you guys an example of pulling two halves together. Put that tape there. Push this tight, put the tape here, and I'm not going to push down here in the middle. Just push down here, stick the tape good there, stick the tape good there, and it's just going to hold these together. Okay, so we can set this off to the side to dry. Now this is some of the bad parts, <laughs> or the worst part of my crashes today. We need to get the dirt out of this motor, I can tell you that much. And pick it out with a pick or get these little bristle brushes and <sighs> compressed air isn't a bad thing and maybe a small bit of lube but as you can see it was just caught in a one little spot the inside of that motor looks beautiful yeah and there's no dirt that worked itself up in there so that's good now I am going to go with the hot melt glue here because you notice once I bring these two halves together and let them go, they really want to suck back apart and I want it to stick quite quickly and as soon as the hot melt glue gets cool, it sticks. And plus it's got this tip where I can kind of bury it down in there and get some structure deep inside the crack. Oh yeah, I can see this stuff sinking down in there. You kind of got to work quick with this stuff as well. And then we're just going to hold tight. And then see how a little bit squirting out right there? When that dries, you can slice it off with a knife. See, it's already holding. I can already let go. Nice big crack there. Go ahead Put that crack open, stick the tip of that gun right in there. Now when you stick the tip of that gun in there, you want to be quick because um, you can start to melt this foam very easily. Now we got this piece here. And then smash it together and hold it. I also see a good little crack right there. Now I'm going to just kind of stick 
this back into place. See about how it's going to go. All right. I see how it's going to go. Apply some glue down here. Some here. Down through here. A little bit here. And same spots on the receiving side. Ooh, got some on my thumb. Right, that's gonna look just about the way it did before we started. Now they had this ESC kind of glued in here some way as well. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue just to kind of help stick this ESC in here. Okay, now as far as repairing this front bulkhead or motor mount or whatever you call it, I'm unbolting the broken pieces off from the motor mount deal here, like this, and then finding exactly where they went, like that, and then we're going to shoe goo these on. Next one. Put a little extra on that one. Last one. This one's pretty simple. Okay, this simple little piece. Aha, there we go. It goes that way, just like that. Okay. So, I think I'm going to use the hot milk glue on this as well. Okay. Now, the next thing, we got to get our pilot mounted in there. He's in. Now my canopy is cracked. I'll probably put some scotch tape on the inside. Okay. I wonder if I can just go ahead and Lay a nice little bead all the way across it. Let's go ahead and plop her down on there before it's all dry and cooled down. There, canopy's back together. Everything short of a new prop and a little bit of drying time, and uh, I gotta assemble the wing and put the cowl on, and I can fly this plane tomorrow. I went ahead and screwed that wing on, but you can tell, uh, you know, everything's back together. So, now it's time to go ahead and put the motor on. I go ahead and order a new cowl and a new propeller.
Now, if you didn't know, airplane motors sit at an angle towards uh, this way because they want the motor wants to torque the plane this way because the rotation of the motor. Okay, now I took this red and black or pink and black uh, cowl and I actually painted it up. I just hated to look at that ugly thing on there. So, <laughs> anyways, we need to get this put back on the plane. And another thing, this one was a little different and the front of the motor here rubbed on this little part here. So I had to cut that out a bit. And now the very edge of the nose kind of sticks out, which is totally fine. Now there's some of the center that I had to cut out. Okay. Like uh, Meatloaf said, two out of three ain't bad. Actually, I think that was Janis Joplin on a Meatloaf song, wasn't it? All right, and I'm not gonna, I got my new two bladed propeller in today, but I found this and I ended up having the right size shim for the back and I drilled out the front and it fits on and I see a lot of other T28 Trojans running three blade props. So I want to try this one out. If I don't like it, how it performs or whatever, I can always change it back. Okay. All right, now I need to power this bad boy up. Make sure everything's working right. Is working all right ailerons are not working that is because they are the wires not here <laughs> okay that would make sense the biggest thing I want to do is make sure the motor spinning right way yes the motor is spinning the right way all right I must have forgot to push the aileron wire through into the fuselage where I could get to it. So, quick fix. Yep, yeah, there it is. Ooh, that wing. Oh, back here it needs some super glue too. Gosh, I've never seen that. Okay, I'm gonna glue that while we got this apart. Okay, what we're gonna do here is pick up, put some glue in there. Where it needs it. Put some in the back here. And then push down on it. Okay, that glue's hardened up good enough. Go ahead and stuff that aileron while you're back in there again. Get that screw in there. Now we can flip her over. Get that aileron wire in there. Okay. Well, there you go guys, all back together.
And when I crashed this thing, I was so worried that it was junk and done. It's just got a little character now. <laughs> All right, I'm Tractus Mike from My RC Life, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of My RC Life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.